Welcome back to the Full English. I'm delighted to have with me today uh, uh, two of our coaches from Spain. On my left we've got Jose. Jose, of course, you can see with the beard, nice and easy to spot. And also we have Fran. Now, Fran is our physical coach and Jose is our goalkeeping coach. And what I'd like to do today is find a little bit about life in Spain and why the Spanish players and coaches are so popular here in Thailand. You may have noticed over the last year or so that there were a lot more African players that were in the, in the uh, Thai Premier League but now Spanish players and coaches and professionals are much sought after. First of all, Jose, if I could ask you, can you tell me a little about your time when you were at Real Sociedad, the work that you did at Real Sociedad? Me play in, uh, in juniors in Real Sociedad, mm -hmm. uh, play uh, five years and after that uh, go to Hercules Alicante, mm -hmm. uh, three years more in Almeria mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and after that go to Portugal in Porto Santense in Unión de Madeira. Excellent. And can you tell me a little about the life in the academy? How much did you train? Was it a tough life for a young boy becoming a footballer in Spain? This is it's, it's, it's very better. The training in Spain is a little different than training in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, training uh, more time uh, technical and mm -hmm. tactical and physical. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thailand, uh, the difference is, is uh, the condition physical and the problem, a little problem for improving physical is uh, Mm. The sun yeah, is yeah. very hot and for training, par, uh, hard training is, is difficult. Definitely. Now talking about conditioning and the physical aspect, Fran, if I could turn to you, what, how did you change your training in Thailand because of the heat and the, the, the difficulties of the heat here? Yeah, as I just say, one of the difficult things here in Thailand is the weather. Mm. Here it's so cold and we must adapt everything to this weather. Mm -hmm. And also the, the character of the players are different, of course. Mm -hmm. Every country you have different styles. Mm -hmm. But nowadays we are trying to find something between Spain and Thailand. Mm -hmm. And we are changing, but we are closer than when I was in, Tha in Spain. Mm -hmm. But not at the beginning when I started here. I had to more English style, I think, mm -hmm. when I started here. They, they had an English style. Mm -hmm. But now we are going closer to the Spanish style. Ah, okay, now when you say the Spanish style, is that for the type of training? Is it the tactics that are used? What are the changes that you are seeing in Thai football? Yeah, at the beginning I think that they were used to just run with a wall, mm -hmm. not put tactics in, in the conditioning. Mm -hmm. And we really think that in Spain we train all together. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can train tactics, you can train technique, and you can train conditioning all in one just mm -hmm. in one drill. Yeah. Then nowadays we are trying to do that. We are trying to put all together and, of course, at the end of the day of the week, we change. We, we are more interested to work in speed. We put some drill in speed, but always try to put some tactical work also in, inside of the, the drill. Absolutely. Now, you learned your skills at, at Villarreal, a very, yeah. very famous Spanish uh, club. Yeah. What did you learn there? How did you pick up your skills as a physical trainer? Yeah, I started there seven years ago, mm -hmm. eight years ago, um, that, uh, that was like, all the, the training was related with ball. Mm -hmm. Always try to put the ball, we can run, but we can run with ball, mm -hmm. because the players don't run just mm -hmm. like uh, athletes mm -hmm. in, in football. They, they have to run, but they have to think in many things. Mm -hmm. Then we are always try to, to put the ball in the drills. Mm -hmm. That is the special thing. Of course, after you have to move, depending on the, the style of the play that you play. Mm -hmm. And also we try to do that. We try to, to put the players and after try to control the game, uh, always fo focusing the style of the, of the game. Absolutely. So the style is important for of the course, Spanish of style, of course. Yeah. Now, Jose, you've, you've had a difficult season as a goalkeeper coach. The number one goalkeeper in Thailand has had two very, very bad injuries and you had to train a new keeper who's done a very, very good job here for, for Mung Tong. When with Sanosak first came to you, what did you see that you wanted to make better? Uh, this is on uh, play five goalkeepers mm -hmm. different. This is very, dif very difficult for goal and for, for us, for team. Mm -hmm. uh, for improve, need play minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and play five goalkeepers and the number one is, is this problem, trivial problem, mm -hmm. this, and it's, it's very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. And for improve is very important, uh, technical, mm -hmm. 
tactical and physical. Mm -hmm. Technical is okay, goalkeeper Thailand is okay. Mm -hmm. Tactical is a little problem, no? Mm -hmm. This is cross orientation, a cover. For, 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 for us, it's difficult training this, this mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. Now, one other thing I've seen with, for the goalkeeper is he has very good concentration with Sanosak. Do you practice the concentration? How do you help a goalie to concentrate? 100% for 90 minutes. Every day, every day is uh, uh, improved for work this, this, this option. No? Mm -hmm. The training is only uh, 30 minutes for goalkeepers and this 40, uh, 40 minutes is for very, very concentrated. Mm -hmm. uh, no speak, no, only 40 minutes. Uh, and training for improve and work. Mm -hmm. And after that, go to team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, talking of improvement, as you say there, Jose, how do you both feel Thailand can improve? It's been a difficult time for the national team, 143 in the FIFA ranking. How, what skills do you think that Thai players have, uh, Fran, and how can Thai football improve? I really think that they can be in the top 50 in the next years. Mm -hmm. they, have, they are very skill, skillful players, mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things that I, I, I think, I don't know, they have to try to do it work all together, all the clubs together. Mm -hmm. Try to put all clubs, one part uh, of his players, who is in the national team. If they do that, they, they have a really good team, they have a really good skills, and I think if they improve a little bit with the tactical work, mm -hmm. that they have here very good coaches, mm -hmm. but they need to improve that, that, that small things. Yeah. They, they, they can grow up very, very fast and they can be, in the, for me, in the top 50, sure, and maybe they have chance to, to go to the World Cup. They, they can do it, sure, Fantastic. totally sure. Well, that's good news. And for you, Jose, the problem people always talk about for the goalkeepers in Thailand is they are small. In uh, yeah. Europe, is 1 meter 99, 2 meter. Do you think that Thai goalkeepers can be in the top leagues in, in Spain and England and Germany one day? It's mm. <laughs> difficult, no? <laughs> This is one problem for, for goalkeepers. No? Mm. This is for small goalkeepers is, is difficult. Must must have good goalkeepers in mm -hmm. Thailand. Have mm -hmm. this uh, uh, Kawin mm -hmm. done very good uh, this season. Very good improve step and step and step. Also, Sapa goalkeeper is very good goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. Bangkok Glass have very good goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. And uh, the level in, in goalkeeper coach in Thailand is improve and improve. This is better for, for goalkeepers. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, thank you both and thank you for all the work that you've done this season. SCG Mung Tong United. Ready for ASEAN. Ready for the AEC.